Original Life Master Terrell Harriet here. So playing the I am Mosk. Uh, where is he from? India. India. All right, let's see how he does against the my Great Wall. I'm 26, 51. It's been a while since I've been on here. Just got back from Italy Saturday, and so I've been readjusting to the time of of everything, and you know, feeling good, catching up with friends and such. Didn't go out and play any chess set physically in New York, but you know, started uploading some video. I just uploaded a video called The Spirit Works Within You. So when you get a chance, check that out. It was really fun playing all that talent over there in uh, Italy. There's the people from all over the world that showed up. Top talents represented in their federation. A lot of cool people. Okay, good. I like this one because I always win a pawn right here. It gives me good... I win a center pawn, and I usually have a really great position afterwards. So, after that, I just... I just chill. Now, I was on the phone with my good friend Andrew Konigsberg last night, and he was... All right, let's see here. What are we doing? Do I want to move the queen? I feel like I want to move the queen. Because I want to unpin myself. I don't like the way, the direction that this is going in. That move. Oh, because he wants to steal. I mean, that's fine, right? But it gets all hazy and tactical. I normally try and stay away from the mess. I normally try and stay away from the mess, but they, they need the mess at this point. All right, let's... I'll let it go into the mess. I usually hate the mess. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try and avoid the mess a little bit because the mess can get really annoying. <laughs> well, that's what it makes this game fun, right? The mess. All right, all right. So he made it messy. That's fine. Let's let's try and make it unmessy. Okay. Do 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 do. Trying to kick. All right. Put the question to you too. Man, I hate, hate this part. <laughs> okay, so that's defending that. Let's hold everything. It's hard to hold everything. That's the crazy part. The ruckus. And I fucked up. Did I? A little bit. A little bit. Can I, can I recover from this? Like, how do you miss that, T? All right, how do you recover from this? Got to recover fast. Let's go. Oh, oh shit. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. The fuck? I hate this shit. Get a lot of this one too. Good luck at this. Let's see. No, 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 no. This is just false hope right here, all over it. There's like no hope here, bro. None. like it's made if I want to take the knight. It's made all over the board. Hate it. D4. 
going into a discovery check losing the queen. Ugh. That's a nice mate. It's a s what? They use this term a week. Tuesday. That's interesting. Yo, that sucks. But let's see what happened here. It's not about winning, it's about learning, right? I mean, like. It was interesting how he was able to bring the ruckus so fast. And that's what I need to work with. When people bring the ruckus. The ruckus is when they complicate the game. You know, this this here I normally went upon and I normally just had smooth sailing, but the ideas here that he came up with was pretty good. So this was a question mark move. And My response sucked. So, I, mean, I don't know what I should have done here. But, you know, that's what they do. They throw the question mark move up there and like, hey, you figure it out. And I did not figure it out well. Uh, what is best here? It says, does it show best move? I mean, it says F takes E5 is best, which I did. Okay. And, oh, maybe just knight here? Hitting this queen? That actually looks really good. And best is, knight right there. Counteracting this queen, okay. So I gotta remember that. When people going after my queen, I'm already up. I countermeasure, go after their queen. Go after their next high priority. And that looks like a really good move because I don't have to worry about the attack that's happening here anymore. My pawn structure looks great. Very favorable for the end game. All my pieces are on the fourth rank. You know, this is a great move. I don't know why I couldn't find it at that time. But under the attack, I choked. I choked. But that looks that looks like a nice way to have answered it. So I play queen c2. I was in defense mode instead of counterattack mode. Always try and look back for the initiative somehow, some way. Uh, let me close other windows, so other tabs. Oh, if I close other tabs, I don't think it's going to have that the, the tab where I, hopefully it does. Let me see if I can. I forgot the recent tabs button. I hope I'm still in the chess.com thing. Let me just open another window real quick, guys. Give me one second, because I would hate to be disconnected from the darn thing. Okay, so I still have it open to come back to. And let me just click on game, so. Okay, good. All right. So this was also a question mark move. I'm like, man, why am I playing like Crumple Stills in here? Makes no sense to me why it consists this bad. You only had one good option here. They permitted you, the opponent, to open up a file with the rook. I. Knight 2 G3 is a mistake. Why is it a mistake? Show moves. I'm sorry. I don't, it says mistake. I don't see why mistake, but don't get me wrong. The amount of pieces that he came in came in with was, was crazy real fast. All right. So, and I'm... The bishop is hitting me. I'm just trying to do some countermeasures. I, I can't even get my pieces active. So he runs back. I want to really stick my knight right here. And that's what I normally get to do. Or on one of these squares. Just to trade down. Okay, so... <laughs> it's just saying every move I'm making is just horrible. Okay. What did it say I played like? 2350. All right, well, I'm 2350, so 
I was playing about my rating, and he was playing like a 2850. All right, so he went up when he was under pressure. Okay. God, man. And then I played this night move, which pays no attention to this battery that he created. Look at all these active pieces. This is disgusting. I'm getting murdered. All right, that was cool, though. Well, at least I know how I lost. All right, so 2550, candidate master. Let's see how that goes. All right, I'm, I don't know if I should go Scandinavian or Black Lion. Let's go. Let's, let's go Black Lion. I don't want to do tactics. And let me set this to emotes. Oh, it's already on emotes only. All right, so we know what he's gonna do. It's playable. You know, what I'm glad about is that I learned how to do chapters in the uh, in the YouTube videos now. So I'll probably just be able to set these things up by rounds. So that'll be better. Have those chapters set up. But it's still a lot of work to be done. I need, like, a team, man. That will help set these things up. In the meantime, you'll learn how to do these things for yourself. So I'm willing to teach... I know a lot of cool stuff with technology, so anybody that wants to volunteer and learn some cool stuff on how to build your own YouTube channel, help me out, I'll help you out. I have a lot of wealth of knowledge, so link me. Help you put you on this team, you know? And I'll help support your stuff too. Uh, okay, that looks interesting. That's an interesting countermeasure. Oh, he has a check at the end. Yeah, it's punch things at the end. Yeah, it's funny how when the game gets crazy, how I uh, deal with the pressures. This whole queen side is open, but I do have this one runner, which I'm happy about. But I'm going to stop talking now, because sometimes they're listening, and they take away your hopes and dreams. Okay, that's good. And after he does that, after I do that check right there, as my, because he's gonna come. Okay, that check didn't happen, and that's definitely gonna happen. So, shit, and that's gonna happen. Well, I'm ready for that if that happens. By the way, there is no way I thought this game was going to go in this direction. Okay. More people.
flag. <sighs> yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just trying to relax under the pressures. All right, cool. So I got a point on the scoreboard. All right, game review. Sixty-nine percent. I know I'm not playing great, but all right. Starting off on black line here. All right. So with the eight, this move, I know they probably might go queen seven. I probably won't. Let me see my man here. Let me read what he's saying. I got somebody that helping me on my YouTube channel as well right now. Uh, Nirob. So you will receive a daily report and changes. Your channel is. Was that 693? Your last video was at 139 views. All right, so he, he's sending a lot of details, so that's good. Let's see how it goes. I just don't know. I, I need to ask him, what does SEO stand for? SEO. What does that stand for? And four. Yeah, he's helping me out. I'm live right now. Promoting you as well, sir. So for anyone else that's listening, so it's MD Nairob Ali. And he's helping me out on my YouTube channel and trying to promote it. I, I give him his props because he was persistent in trying to reach out to me, you know, so that helps. Uh, okay, so he sends a lot of detailed information, but back to this, let me uh, show here. All right, so I'm working a diagonal, and let's see what happens. Oh, so this was a bad move? Best was, B5 was a blunder. Seemed like a good move at the time. And that's an outstanding move. But what is best? Breaking the center. Okay, breaking the center looks good because he can't run out of the center and he can't. He can't do it. He's not going to go queen side. So, yes. And the center is a. I like the idea of it. Thanks. Oh my god, this was a horrendous move? I thought this was a good move. <laughs> that was horrendous. Best was castle. But I'm not losing the rook here. Oh, the rook is held with this. Uh, with this. Okay. With the knight. I didn't see that at the time. Check flushing me out. I saw that idea. I played bishop just to... Uh, what was best here instead of the bishop? I played bishop just to hit this pawn again one more time. I didn't like it under the rook. You know, that x-ray. But That was also bad? Like, man, I'm playing bad, bad. Or, not bad, bad, but, you know. Like a 22-50 against a 20-50. Even though it's 25-something. Yeah, good move, right? Unpin yourself, connect the rooks. I play this one. I saw that he could play knight pops and then take here. He didn't do that. His time is not looking ugly though. Look at that. 22 seconds. Yeah. And then here I just decided I'll. I think I decided to do that move. Probably didn't. I'll play bishop back. And. I just thought that I could create some ruckus here. I mean, maybe maybe the idea is to just create ruckus in these uh, time controls. Mm. Gamble and create some ruckus. This is to ensure that people find your video first when they try to search on YouTube. SEO expert search. I guess it means search. Okay. And whatever. All right. I trust you. 
You're doing too much to not to not trying to be trusted. <laughs> search on YouTube. This is to ensure that people find your video first when they search on YouTube. S E O expert. Search exploration. I, I just want to know what the acronym for S E O is. All right. I think I think that means my game started. All right. Let's close this window. Yeah, let's go Scandinavian. No. So let's go Scandinavian. Yes. Scandinavian. Even though that was black line just now. I have been enjoying my Scandinavian though. Play this woman from Lafia, Nephi. She was pretty chill. It's cool to hang out with. And her students were two. Why don't I say students? Her team from Lafia. Shout out to Dara. She was actually the first cool person. Not, oh, should, should I say first cool person? Ooh, I like this one, I think. Wait a second. That's a blunder, no? That's a blunder. Yep. Thanks for the gift. I accept all major donations. Okay, so now I have a piece. Load the game now, Terrell. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna take in a center because and I'll run skip town if anything. Alright, so that looks good. Hold that down. Checking. Okay, I, I plan to run. If anything, I did. I did always plan to run. I'm that guy. I'm a runner. said I would run. Let's connect the rooks first before I run. Maybe I could just hold it. I mean, you know, it looks like I could just hold it right there. Now, I did say I was leaving, right? I did tell him I was leaving. This move. Stay in the center. What if you were safe in the center of the board, Terrell? like the check but at the same time all right let's let's try and get that's a fork if anything too all right check check all right i'm gonna i'm gonna do this against my better judgment i need to stop wasting time with this this is crazy all right let's everybody fights ah what's the move get out of the center get out of the center you don't like the center that much. <laughs> okay. I saw this move, right? I don't like this. God, man. I hate being attacked. I was leaving anyway, bro. Somebody should have told you. Night takes. Okay.
center used to be a nice place for me. Now it's becoming a hellish place. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, no, that's a move I wanted, right? Oh, that's not a move I wanted. I almost held it. So I got like yeah, this end game lost. See if this whole center idea was a bad idea or not. And chess is a very huge, vast game, so it is. All right, so I'll resign now because there is no way to escape me. All right, so the opening is okay. I feel. Let's see what it says. Don't like that move. I like that move a lot. I like this move a lot. This was the blunder that he made. <laughs> so now I'm up a piece, right? What is the correct way to play here? Okay, so like that move too. Check, and I'm leaving. Oh, you know what? Actually, maybe I didn't have to leave because, like, where is the other pieces coming from? Oh, he's going to take here. All right. Okay, didn't like it so much, but it's still okay. Maybe I was supposed to just play bishop takes and just run, run. I moved the rook, which was the right idea. I had the right idea. Just run over here now to safety. Okay, that wasn't accurate, so I think I was supposed to just run. No, that wasn't accurate either. So what do you want? You want King E7 for me to run, right? Best. Yeah, King E7, run, run to the hills, which was the original plan. Does that move, Rook E4. Rook A8. Hmm. Where does he go? He goes here. Queen e5. Queen where? Queen e5? Here? Oh, to protect that. Yeah, and that, that looks okay. The question is, does it still feel it's as strong? Yeah, so it wasn't such a bad idea. And then queen e8. Okay. Just hold everything down. Yeah, because I figured the pawns was... I figured this was working as something. I just didn't know how to coordinate the pieces well right here in the center of the board. It's not something I normally do on defense. Okay, alright. That was a nice idea to learn. 
Okay, so now I close this now. Yes. Close this down. Start game over here. Pablo. Pablo from Argentina. So Pablo. Grandmaster Pablo has one point as well. Hate to break it to you, Pablo, but you're going down, buddy. It's me or you. Might as well be you. I was on my friend on the phone, my friend uh, Andrew Konigsberg last night. He was talking about adult improvement. The rating, I'm not really pushing for, but I will get these norms. I will have those tournament performances. I'm certain of it. I also want to shoot for getting the S norm in the UFCF. That's a pretty cool one to. To achieve so, so about like senior master performance I haven't achieved one of those yet and I, I did say I was gonna try and achieve one of those before I, I take it seriously I'm trying to get norms okay boom 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 that looks cool let's close up the center board because he's trying to play g5 okay all right so we'll just open up your queen side now sir the way you like it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. I guess we're opening stuff up. I should have locked it up first before I opened it up. <laughs> Alright, uh, take, take, take. Alright, we'll do this. How's it taking you that long to see that move? Yeah, I'm gonna do this move, man. I'm gonna do this move. Sometimes you gotta let go of stuff. for this right that we were ready for everything else I'm not certain about
that's a check. That's a check. Oh boy. Checks are so expensive. Checks are so expensive, man. So expensive. Mm -hmm. Checks are so expensive. All right, game review. All right, I'm not playing solid. I'm I'm playing tactical, and I'm not so great at tactical chess. Even though it says 2300, okay. Sometimes I feel better when it says that they're playing well, and I'm just not playing so well. But you know, it's playing 200 times better than than what his rating says that he is. So I'm not going to get mad. Alright. So the opening was good. Maybe I should have broken with E4 here. Let me see what it likes. I think I was going to break with E4. Yeah. Okay. So I'll try and do that from now on. I liked this. I liked the idea of this. And I liked the idea of playing E5 here. So I should have locked it up first and then broke up on this side of the board. That was the original plan. That was the original intent. Maybe even not even break with that. Probably break with this first. Well, let's see what it says. No. Best is. Yeah. That was the intent to play E5, lock it up. Now he never gets a break in on this side of the board. And then I have all the play. Like, the whole game, I have all the play. That was the original intent. That was the idea behind this. So just lock up the center first. Like, the original intent, like my normal stone wall. Lock up the center. And then just push here. And I, I'm pretty sure that's the right move to do. Let's click show moves. Oh, and continue pushing on that side of the board. Yeah, that would be really good. All right. But violated my rule. And then that's what creates the ruckus on this side of the board. Yeah. And then now I'm playing like a really even though it says equal, I don't I'm not familiar when when the game just gets crazy like this. I don't know how to prioritize well. This is when I become like a beginner like other people. I purposely did give up the rook because I wanted activity and maybe I shouldn't have done it. But I, I wasn't going to be able to hold this, and he was just going to be able to leave a piece in the center, and I didn't want that. So I was just going to die slowly. So at the moment, I felt like I was going to at least have some kind of initiative in the way I was fighting. But, man, he just had checks all over the board because my king was exposed. Not normally have custom to having an exposed king like that. And then dead. Let's look at what else is going on with anyone else real quick. Early titled. Uh, Bortnik. Oh, but this is not the Bortnik that I know. I guess this is his brother. Yeah, it's his brother because the brother is a GM. And the one that I know is that I am. That's, he's frequently playing in New York. And this is a draw. For those of you that don't know, as long as you keep the pawn in front of the king. And you wait for the king to get to the third rank. Then they, basically the king is not going to be able to hide. 
behind the phone because he's going to be exposed. You just bring the rook back to the back rank. Either this one, and you just keep checking them nonstop. So that's another discipline that these uh, higher rated players do. They'll play the drawn position and just keep doing this dance forever. So it's what, 140 moves now? And they're in it for the distance of irritation of the other player. You know, because people do make mistakes. Chess is a game about mistakes. You could take, he could have taken and then draw the game right there, actually. That would have been smart, too. But also, neither player wants to draw. That's the crazy thing. They're both trying to win. funny if someone gets flagged. So it'll say exactly why it was all worth it. Yeah. Alright, so now once Black pushes the pawn one more rank forward, then he'll have the infinity checks. And oh, now Black can possibly win. Because he flushed him out of out of here. So wow, um, black might actually win now. Push! The hell? Wow. White loses the game because he was gonna lose anyway. Oh wow. <laughs> Thought it was a draw, but uh he had the wrong idea. What you're supposed to do is leave the rook on the third rank. He's supposed to leave the rook on the third rank the whole time. All right, let's see what's what's going on in history. I hope it's in English. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Okay, not in English. So he obviously, this is obviously the younger brother. So. All right, well, we'll leave the channel because I don't speak Russian that well. So let's just X this. Mm. Yeah, man. Going well. Uh, let me see how this video that I just put out is doing. Go to YouTube. Uh, let's go. The spirit is within us. Let's just switch to this account real quick. I'm at uh, 698 subscribers, so I got one view. All right, it looks it looks cool from here. YouTube is looking really cool. Yeah, so when you get a chance, check out this video. Let me share it. Copy. Turn this off for emotes only for a second because we are waiting. Emotes only. <clears throat> Alright, I'll let this video play. I, I, I'll show this video in the meantime. So, what was cool about this, and by the way, it looks much better because I hooked it up a little bit. I wonder if I can. I should definitely have a browser set up. I'll probably add that later. So when I'm showing this, it shows the whole thing. But maybe I could. I don't want to fool too much around. But you know what? Check out the video. The spirit works with in you. It's a cool video. And it was cool video check it out i uh if you even for what i did with the graphic part and uh the levels and you know, i'm just finally improving the channel a little bit it's pretty cool so check it out when you get a chance please give it a like if you like it all right let's go back i'm a little hungry right now 
should probably eat something. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll grab some water. All right, so I'll be right back. Hopefully this thing didn't start back already. Look. Nope. I guess this is where it's gonna be popping off when it pops off. Oh, let's go back and uh, activate this. This is on their live chest, I believe. Okay. Big. See the names over there. Okay, cool. All right, game started. I was getting some notifications. Don't know what those notifications were. All right, twenty one hundred from. All right, so I guess he's a Russian. All right, let's black line. Let's go. Again, Steve Wall wasn't playing Black Lion. I think that's why I kind of retired. It. transposed to emotes on the chat. Nobody talks on here anyway. Going back to go forward. Ink 
into the fire. Yet to. Well, I have an idea for what to do when people aren't castling. And it's to do this. Really screw them up. When they don't castle, they get even more messed up. It's, it's pretty sick. Murder, death, kill. you decide to go queen side. Come on, you know you want these open files on your king. This makes the game more fun, remember? See, there you go. Open files upon the king. And the queen and all of that. Sack, boom, boom, boom. Let's just, I can do anything I want, right? I mean, like, what is not hanging upon these, so? Wait, rip pops. Let's see how you respond to that move. Oh, that was a decent response, actually. That was a decent response. It's okay. Is it? Is it okay? I thought it was at a time. Because I had one idea that I got I'm shooting for. I have an idea I'm shooting for. Take this. Ooh. 
it didn't, it didn't, it didn't quite work out the way I wanted, but I'm glad I was able to get him some time trouble. You know, a brilliant move is when you find a great sacrifice. Yeah. Uh, I'm not big at uh, brilliant moves. I like bland chess where I'm the one winning. Like, I thought I was doing really well here. I mean, I know I was. I think the messed up part, okay, is how do I continue my attack here? Now, normally the original plan was just gonna play B pawn and C pawn and then push and overextend on this side of the board and just kill him with the space advantage. That was gonna be the idea. Um, but you like this move first. I don't really like that move, but I guess it's all right. And then here, when I decide to make it crazy, yeah, it burnt up a lot of time on this clock. But, um, I don't know, I was going to, uh, I made it crazy, but I definitely don't think my continuation was good here. So let's see. Best would have been pop the queen. I thought about popping the queen. And I'm like, everything is is like hanging afterwards because he's gonna take my queen. Oh, and then I could take his knight. And then he has to save back his bishop. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, and and that's what it is. I have enough people for that fight, so that's what I should have played. All right, go kamikaze because he's going kamikaze on me. Okay, so that was the miss cow right there, and then that was another bonehead move. I was shooting for some idea where I'm able to skewer and win the queen. I mean, pin and win the queen. But he always he always had this move. That's why they play right away. So yeah, there's another question mark right there. I wonder what would have been best there. Mm, killing me softly. And then Bishop could come here. Oh, that would be sick. Oh, that would be disgusting. So gladly he had, he was under enough pressure. And I'm still shooting for this. Pin and win the queen idea. But can't do that because I lose my queen anyway. Maybe maybe queen takes here was cool. No, that's probably wasn't gonna be good. And now I'm just playing pester in chess, which I'm usually good at if my opponent's low rated. High rated, not good at it at all. Not good at it at all. Okay. Next, what are we doing next? Well, shouldn't the game already start by now? Okay. So this is the one. Let's close this window. Let's close this window. Let's close the YouTube video. Let's see who's actually still playing. Round five, starting soon. These guys are going at it. Okay, so... Who's gonna win this? Shouldn't, uh... Shouldn't Black win this? Is it really all about opposition right now? Or is this actually a draw? Oh, it is a draw because the bishop is not going anywhere. Yeah, this is a draw. What am I thinking? You could just keep moving the bishop along here and here, if anything, if he wants to draw. Can't get it. Can't get the king to move. 
Oh, but no, that would be bad for him. Yeah. This is a draw. It's a draw because the king just has to stay on one of these dark squares in front of the pawn. And then just move this bishop back and forth. But these guys, they're in it for the distance and irritation. This is exactly why you don't resign. The stronger players don't do it. They don't draw, so you, you think they're going to resign? Or they, they know it's a draw and they do this? Like, it's crazy. So, regardless, you got to learn the temperament of just staying in the game, dealing with the nonsense. Because what are you going to You're going to have a drawing game and then you're going to just give up because the person doesn't want to draw? Someone can win. No, it's still a draw. <laughs> it's still a draw. <laughs> Yo, I saw this guy. The the he's Egyptian, and he was down a pawn in the in the tournament. He was down a pawn. And he wasn't playing in the blitz tournament. That had me crying. He was down a pawn. His opponent offers him the draw. And he didn't accept the draw. He just continued to pester his opponent. And then you know what? He won. I I, I stopped the camera. But um, he won. It was a it was a sick bishop versus rook uh, ending. But it, it you know this is educational to show you that you know. Can he force him to push the pawn? Actually, he can force him to push the pawn. He can force. And Passant, he could force him to push the pawn now. Can he not lose now? That would be great. I, don't, I think he might. This gets interesting now. Well, you're going to play the king back, right? Can you get to the pawn in time and stop that damn pawn from pointing? I think so. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he makes it. He gets a win. No, why you do that? Because it still works. Yeah, you got it. And then Bishop stops. Wow, yay. Annoying people, boy. And that's why you don't give up. <laughs> that was cool. Alright. Journey to Grandmaster. YT. I think I played this guy before. Journey. I think I played, yeah, I played him twice before. Lost to him both times. I'm about the journey too. So, let's see here. Let's try and play this move. This move looks cool. It's cool to play moves that looks cool. It looked 
it cool a moment ago. Maybe it's still cool then. No? I think I like this. I just don't know how to capitalize yet. But I'll be capitalizing with this move. This is also an okay move. Okay, let's keep hitting them. I think the space alone should kill him. The space alone should kill him. Okay, this move knight comes there. Let's let's just out of respect move around for you a little bit. Just a little bit, not too much. That dark skirt bishop is murdering his soul, boy. It's just all through his system. He just gotta sit there and wait for me to come up with the right idea on how to finish him and you know. It's coming. Don't you worry. Those dark squares is it's looking real disgusting for you, buddy. Yeah, real disgusting. Yeah. Let's just keep applying little sweet pressures around you. Okay, that was a good move. Is it? I think it was. I think it was. That might be the game changer for me being annoying right now. All right. Okay. All right. Try to hold everything down still so I can still be annoyed. All I need to do to really kill him is just reorganize the, uh, yeah, that's dead. That's dying. Let's hold on to this. Whenever I want to win, I could just change the position of the bishop and the, uh, the bishop and the queen and the game's over. Once this get open, it's like a certain death. That's certain death. And how do you stop me from pushing? I don't see it. Okay. All right. That's one way, I guess, for now. Let's just continue the journey forward. Should I push on the queen? That's a that's a good thing to question him with, and then see how he deals with the diagonal again afterwards. Like, how are you gonna deal with the diagonal again, bro? How you gonna deal with the diagonal again? I just don't see. Worry about it. It's your problem. You figure it out. Okay. All right. Uh, let's let's go. Let's go. Queen. Act like I'm going after the rook. Right. Act like I'm going after the knight. But I really just want to get on this diagonal again. So he has a choice to make now. Do you give up the queen? Or not?
Yep. Journey. The game between me and you meant something, Journey. And that's me. Alright. So, I, I'm glad that I was able to sense that early on. The power that that bishop was disgusting. Made all those holes. And they said I was playing weak. 68. I was playing like a 2400. But he was playing like a 2000. So, something there. Whatever. He was playing 528 points worse. But I was playing... Hmm. Well, 40 points better. All right, let's see what happened here. Now, I like this. This is like a reverse French. Not an unknown more names of openings. It's better. So this is the base point of attack, which I like doing. And with the knight going to G3, that was pretty cool. And I saw that the queen and the king was lined up, so I figured... I figured knight coming to this square and then forcing him to get rid of that dark square bishop when he already create the Swiss cheese as they call it creates a lot of hurt in the system so that's why I like that move because of the diagonal of how it's now just completely opens up all his pawns on white square so having a dark square bishop is going to reign supreme so I did that move did that that was beautiful. He's not going to let me stay there rent free. And then at that point, I'm hitting, the, I'm hitting that already. So now I wanted to hold on to the dark square bishop. So best, it knows I want to hold on to the dark square bishop. So let's see here. Oh, wow. So that's what I missed. It says hold on to the dark square bishop. And you miss this beautiful fork right here, which I need to be more mindful of. Of if you were to take it, I would be forking the two knights. Would I be forking the two knights? Oh, wait. Okay, so the knight, and then this one will probably turn to defend, and then I could kick. I could kick whichever one. They couldn't work together, and I'm threatening mate. So that was something. I need to be more mindful of um, mate threats ideas. Like, I gotta think two moves ahead. Alright, next one is Okay, so I really love the way this bishop was just hanging out right there and like completely dominating the board. Unopposed. And then lining it up was good for me too. And just taking my time. I know expanding on the queen side. I love I love this move that I came up with where you get this past C pawn and then you can just barrel through. I like that idea a lot. So I had multiple plans I could work with. I could just create this pass pawn on this side of the board, but I realized the domination was so strong with these squares and I could re-improve this knight. I love this. This whole knight went over so that a knight can come here, here, here. And then here. And this all starts with the knight coming from G1. And that happens darn near all the time. I think to really improve a chess, you need to learn knight maneuvers and the squares that they'd like to be on. And then, yeah, that looked really good. Okay, so didn't like this move. What move did you like here? Best. Best is. Bishop back to d4. Yeah, I didn't like the breaking up of my stuff over here, the a5 move. So I brought that bishop back to d4. Yeah, that has to die because I'm not losing this beautiful dark sphere bishop. Yeah, this was actually kind of fun picking him apart right here. Because you know he has to get off the diagonal. <laughs> he knows he got to get off the diagonal. <laughs> Queen or mate. Queen or king. He had to choose. That was funny. All right. Uh, I guess now close this one. Yeah, close this one. 
Alright. Okay, let's go. Let's go Stonewall. Mel. Hey Thrill, what's up bro? Hey Melanin. I'm pretty sure that's Melanin. Uh or I'm not sure, but it's a Mel. What's up? Doing good. Enjoying some chess right now. I did put emotes only on this thing though, so I don't know if I can talk to you while in the game right now. But holler me in between the round. Appreciate the uh, and and type your name because it, as you can see the full name then come up for whatever reason. But I'll I'll go back in there and I'll try and figure out what's going on with that. Do some more troubleshooting. Would be better. Let me see. Maybe I can do that while I'm playing. I mean, like that's what it's about, right? All right, night. I like the night here. Chat box. Castle, let's put that, let's, let's castle, get out of this thing right now. Slide back. Put the question to you, I really want to know what you're trying to be about. That's what I saw a lot of people doing over there. A lot of, pre, a lot of, um, pre-moving. A lot of pre-moving. I mean, like, you're gonna do it anyway, right? Okay, let's put the question to you. Mm. So let's... Take with this guy. I like it like this because I don't, I don't like doing anything with a spawn structure. You know. Let's, let's break this up. That move. He did kind of go crazy, no? I'm taking, how does he get more people at me? I don't see it. But this is why we learn, right? I don't see it. I don't know where I wanna go. Let me think for a second. Let's not mess up the harmony of things. I thought about playing check before, that's why I wanted to stay here. Because check looks cool. Night check. Man, let's get this guy. I don't see how he gets recovers this. Does he 
step into the fire because I know some some pieces are coming off now I know some pieces are coming off now Feel almost safe. Okay, everybody dies, right? Let's get this guy back here too. Yeah. Okay. All right. Feel good. Yay! I'm at four. I don't know what round is this, but it still feels good to have four. Round seven. All right. So. Round seven four. All right. Better than fifty percent. That's a plus. Always a plus to be better than 50%. Especially when you're in your field of other masters. It feels good. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Alright, let's analyze that game. I think, he, I think he helped me out by going crazy early. Uh, how do we analyze again? I think we go back to the beginning or something? Analysis, All right, game review. How was I playing? Ninety percent accuracy. That's good. Twenty-eight fifty. All right, thank you. He was playing like to twenty-five hundred. All right. So we did the uh, stone wall. So the idea was to break up in the center. I like that part. Okay, did not like that move. Best is that night. Because you want to prevent the push and then further break up, I guess. Oh, and I'm also still hitting this. All right. Okay, you don't like that move either. You prefer what? Take with the bishop? I didn't understand why I take with the bishop, though. You get to break up the center because his king is still in the center. Let's show moves. And the bishop is on a strong diagonal. Okay. I'll accept it for now. What's up, bro? I won. Oh, this is from YouTube. Okay, all right, all right. So that now I understand. Okay, so this is from the YouTube channel. Let me see if I could go to the YouTube channel real quick. Maybe I should go to studio. And maybe I'll see the person's full name there. You know? Uh, studio dashboard content live. You know. There's so much stuff to learn, man. It is ridiculous how much stuff to learn, y'all. Uh, I don't even know where to go to comments right now. Maybe that's not where I'm supposed to be. Where I'm supposed to be. Oh, but at least I know how to edit the information. Now, well, I guess this one goes to the live stream. All right, I'm muted. And Mel, let's look for comments. Comments, where's the comments? Okay, close. Moderation. Oh, Malachi. Malachi. Okay, cool. What up, Malachi? Uh, X this. Go back over here. Okay. Let's go stonewall again. 
Malachi from Jamaica he has a chess and domino um, uh, show on YouTube actually so check out his YouTube channel it would have been cool if you pasted it in there. Definitely please go ahead and do that. All right. Play my little bread and butter here. Which I'm glad I did do some more analysis on it. Actually, I wasn't supposed to do that move just now to really go into the fact that I did that analysis on. Yeah. I should have let that play out a little bit more because then it would have gotten more interesting. Maybe I would have got to use some of the analysis I did recently. Into my hole. Back into my hole. I should probably try and see how to break this up because I think it'll look cool breaking it up. I'm gonna try and break it up some more because this G5 extension gotta be able to be taken advantage of. I mean, look at that hole. You know. And I don't think I take advantage of it enough. No black don't want to be playing with that against me. Okay, let's develop some pieces. All right, this night move looks good. There. As if that's okay. Push, push. That looks good, actually. Push, push, put the question to him, see how he answers it afterwards. That one, well, okay. Let's go here with this one. Yeah, this, this looks like a tough, this looks tough for him right now. I mean, maybe it's not that tough, but it looks tough. Yeah, that hole with the G5 actually definitely he's definitely going to be exposed. And then how what's going to happen with this queen of his? You know? Like the queen of his looks very questionable right now. And I wonder if I actually win the girl. I mean, I might even win the girl, you know what I mean? I might even win the girl. This double check looks like that's a mate. Double check. Yeah, this is mate. I don't have to calculate it all the way. It's gotta be mate. It's gotta be a mate. So that was cool. So at least I learned something now to take advantage of that G5 push. Take advantage of that G5 push. I don't normally have. Normally before I would just go crazy in. Ooh, 95.8 accuracy. That's what we're talking about. You know, all right, it sounds good to say 95.8, but what's it? 3,200. So as I was talking to my man, Andrew Konigsberg, I'm going to clip this and send it to him. You know what I mean? I'm gonna clip this and send it to him that you know, yo, I'm telling you, when I'm in the mood for chess, man, I'm in the mood for chess. So, we were just talking yesterday, so I'm gonna clip this and send it to him. Well, not even yesterday, this morning. So, how do I clip this? And all this stuff I need to do faster. Wait, you know, let's just use the YouTube. Okay, let's use the YouTube. Yeah. Rainer Labadi likes my video on Tyler's Hughes. Hey, Rainer. Yeah, thanks. Okay, how do I do this on the clip? Okay, so we're on YouTube now, right? It says analytics, so we go to clip. Menu. Oh, it's supposed to give me the clip feature right here, but it doesn't let me do it right now. Let me speed up the video. Nope, still can't clip it here. Share. All right, no. Okay, so let's go to, let's go to Twitch, because we know how to do it from Twitch. So we know how to do it from Twitch. All right, and, all right, and, nope, still can't get it done here. <laughs> nope, still can't get it done here. <laughs> nope, still can't get it done here. <laughs> nope, 
yeah, we've seen a council uh, create a dashboard. Is this where I want to be? Nope, that's not where I want to be. But I'm trying to. Let, there's so much information out there. Stream manager, that's where I want to be. Okay, so now that I'm on the stream manager. Oh, but now I can't rewind. That's pretty annoying. And it, you'll press this button to clip it. All right. No for future. Keep that open in case I want to clip something. Well, let me try it anyway. Let's see how far we'll let me go back. Let's go clip. Let me see if it works with my slow self. Create it. That's a fail. All right. So we have it for next time. Let's see if the game started yet. All right, no. All right, let's actually go over this game then. 95.8 accuracy is pretty good. And he was playing. I'm playing like a 3200 and he's playing like a 24. Okay. Oh, wait. I could actually just make this video real quick. Yeah. As I said, shout out to Andrew. And uh, let's look over this game. So this was going for my famous Harriet Tickle line. So whenever they play the knight here to D, knight BD7, I push the F pawn and this is what's called the Harriet Tickle. So this little Yvette came up with that. And <laughs> she said, call it the Tickle. Because it's just a little pawn move. So trade off there and knight comes here. Now normally they play queen E2. And if they're playing queen E2, you get the queen over here and then to H4 and then a lot of times you can play knight takes on uh, H7 and they don't even know that they're hanging the queen or they're losing a pawn. So he didn't play for that. He played knight to B6. And there, there are times where I go a little crazy where I, I end up sacking twice on this G5 square. But you know, I decided to not play so crazy today. And just let them do this extension because this move almost has to come in. But then now they have all these holes around their king. And that was the idea to take advantage of that. So I said, let me just play some regular development moves. And just be patient. I mean, sometimes it's good to be a little patient in chess. Yeah, that queen move was questionable. So it gives me the opportunity now to really force the question. that Because now, where are the escape squares for the knight? If the knight goes to g5, I'm going to kick him back. And then he, the knight's basically trapped. So that's what I saw with that idea. And I also saw that the queen could come here to e4 and then create the battery. Because he has no pawns over there to, for safety. So that's what allowed the e5. And then the queen comes to e4. And I could take advantage of that. And then I know the bishop was going to be able to hit the queen afterwards. Also, I was looking at if he tried to block, I could always play g. And then I'm forking. So that's what was so strong about that move. So the next idea is after I got the check in was I get this fork and then the king is going to be attracted to this square which is going to be under a discovery line. So I saw that up to there and then I said okay I know I have a discovery that can win the queen whether it be pawn takes here and then discover check and then take the queen. But I figured this one was better because I know when the knight and the queen Knight and the queen and the rook being on this file is going to be just detrimental. I didn't have to calculate. And then check. And then he resigned because rook here is mate. Or queen here is mate, whichever one. So that was cool. Nice little knight. Oh, maybe I should just click that. Also, I was looking at if he tried to block, I could always play G, 
and then I'm forking. So that's what's so strong about that one. So the next idea is after I got the check in, was I did this fork, and then the king is going to be attracted to this square, which is going to be on their discovery line. So I saw that up to there, and then I said, okay, I know I have a discovery that can win the queen. Yeah, that queen move was questionable. So it gives me the opportunity now to really force the question that, because now I'm where saying. it escapes worse for the knight. If the knight goes to g5, I'm going to kick him back. Yeah, that queen move was right, questionable. Let's copy this. It's from on the So clip. it gives me an opportunity now to really force the question that, because now where that escapes worse for the knight. If the knight goes to g5. Okay. All right, so I'm making this clip. So having five points, uh, I think that's pretty good. I feel good about that right now. So I have five, it's title Tuesday, and uh, what round is it now? Round eight. Next round, and that was round eight, so yeah, again, better than 50% is always good. So, yeah, maybe I score some more points, that would be cool. And I'm gonna just send this to my friend right now, copy, and. Yeah, by the way, I also give lessons on how to get better with technology, guys. Like, holla at me. I'll, uh... uh Tuesday. 32... Oh, let me show them the screenshot that it was a 3200 performance. Maybe you might care about that. <laughs> So back to this game. All right, what else is going on here? Okay, so this is the break. I guess we could just continue analyzing this game or really take a break. Go, go get some more water. Yeah, I do like this in G5 idea. It's like it's really hard for them to do anything. G5 gotta not be a good move, like it has to be bad. And the development is bad, all of that is bad. Alright, set up. Shout out to my man Rainer, Labadi. And y'all saw a lot of Filipinos over there in uh World Youth over there in Italy, man. Everybody knows Rainer. Rainer's a big uh, staple in the Filipino community. Of people who get better at chess. Um yeah, I definitely want to start doing some more chess action again. Also, Combine is coming up. So there you go, Rainer. Finally have something for you to play in and uh, show off your chess skills. So we got a Combine coming up on uh, January 15th, which is basically a uh, Master's League where it's speed chess, where it's uh, five minutes with a uh, 30-second delay for the first three rounds. And then we're going to be doing... Three minutes plus two second increment, and we're gonna basically be selecting six, sixteen players. Uh, the main three is gonna be twelve, so the first twelve players are gonna have to qualify through that, and then we're gonna probably put in four other players as possible alternates, as like you know what we we like them, and we're gonna keep them on the team, and maybe they'll be uh, alternates for particular situations. But. I think this is a great thing. I think it has a, a lot of possibility to grow chess and where we could uh, continue our passion and don't have to go to these other things that we don't care about so much. But we can also learn technology, whatever it is, and grow in the chess community. So that's the whole idea. Do what you love 
and hang around a bunch of people that have the same logical thinking mind as you usually. Even though the funny thing about chess is that we like the way other people think or respect it because like, how did you beat me? You know, what, what ideas are going through your mind that it translates on this chessboard to the point where I end up losing? <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Uh, January 15th. So that should be cool. Let's see what else is happening. And it's on Facebook. So you know what? Let me open up Facebook to see what's going on with Facebook stream. Because that might be educational as well there. Uh, press this one. Uh -huh. Let's just show them streaming live. There's so much information out there, man. Sometimes I get lost. Who is this? Felipe Ortiz. I don't know what is that. But what I want to do is I want to get to my Facebook page again. All right, let's cancel this for now. Go back to this. Okay, I guess this is here. All right, close that. Uh, Scandinavian. Let's go Scandinavian. I like the idea of going after this bishop early. I do. Something tells me I'm supposed to take it early too. I think I'm supposed to take it early as well. Oh man, I should have just taken the pawn, but oh well. I have to take it, just take the pawn. Oh man, alright, alright, that's okay. Um, well, you can't really take, right? It's okay. All right, everything looks good. I want to do something with this. Let's take this one, too. All right, so now I have two bishops. Or, so you say. I want the links to be open. And I'll just let things develop naturally. Okay, that's the natural move I wanted, right? weird man like I don't know what he's doing but it looks weird whoa but I know I was about to hang my queen so that's also weird That's a move I can do, right? That breaks up the pawn structure a little bit. And that creates some open lanes for my bishops. We great on time though, give him that. Give him that. Alright. Um let's just go back into the hole. Um, let's let's displace him first.
was uh that one was questionable Terrell. It's definitely looking interesting. Don't get that card twisted. <laughs> <clears throat> it's definitely interesting now. I really like the Star Square Bishop. That center gotta go, so if I if I hit that, let's hit that. Alright, let's let's try and hold on to this dark screen bishop a little longer. It's looking scary. He's fast as hell. Don't deny that. Oh, stole another one. <laughs> Taxes on what's up, you need to know it. Mm. Okay. I guess I could practice on the increment as well. Everybody has their principles. That's mine. If I don't lose on time and if I don't get checkmated, I didn't really lose. I learned. If that happens, I lost. All right, let's go game review here. Twenty-six fifty. Rated is rating. And me, I want to like. A bunch of points today today I think all right let's see here what happened here man this was accurate popping was accurate right Queen takes man boom I'm in my little pet line right here that I like diagonal is good Bishop is good everything bonehead move is this allowed a lot of possibilities and a lot a lot of possibilities and I had to fight a war 
Now he gets this great center. And I gotta fight, and he's, his timing is hella good. Look at the night maneuvers, though. Peep the night maneuvers that he's doing. Like, he does some great night maneuvers. He's just bringing the knight to another outpost. I think I should have just reserved the bishops and just brought it, brought the bishop back. Like, seriously, back to G7. Yeah, just bring it back to G7. When I played that check and I left it out there for nonsense. Just be reserved and just chill. But no. Look at this, though. He's killing me, man. Murdering me. This check snatched my bishop. Snatch my other bishop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, as they say, don't make weak moves in opening. Alright. So, alright. Next round started, thankfully. Did not want to do with that no more. So, it's round 10. I have 5 points. Let's see if I could score 6 or 7. Hopefully, 7. This person is from Bosnia. Okay, so Akash usually likes to play this line. So, let's go here. It's fun for me. I don't know so much for them. Let's just get some more pieces in the game first. Oh, wait. Yeah, it still works. Uh, take with the queen. Let's take with the one. Move. Yeah, I figure regardless it would be annoying, you know? Alright, well I take here now and then take a check. What do we want to do? Let's take this. Okay. Night here looks cool. So the bishop sucks, right? And I 
that's a good thing. Let's get rid of this backward pawn ASAP. Let's get rid of this backward pawn ASAP. Now that looks good. You have a great knights. The bishop sucks my booty. Uh, I don't even know what I want to do next. Let's well, let's get off this. He doesn't like that one. All right, so let's double up. The knights are so strong right now. It's retarded. It's retarded how strong the knights are. He's gonna have to do something about that because that's like retardedly strong. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I'm not lying to you. You had to do something about that. Okay, knights are still strong. And you're letting them live. Okay. No. This is probably bad, this this uh move I'm making. Not a great move I'm making right there. Okay, wow. Okay, so that move. G. Can I go G-Pawn? Let's go G-Pawn see if I can live through this thing. Alright. Ooh. So I was ready for that idea. I don't know how much I was ready for everything else. Okay. Push a runner to run? Gotta push a runner. You ain't got no choice now. and not die. Uh. Oh boy. That's that's a strong one. Yeah, that's that's the Fucking winner right there. Yeah. Ah, kind of handle what was happening there. Should have left the house, man. I should have kept the pieces by the house. The queen should have not left the house. I love the way the knight was, though. But the queen should not have left the house. I liked, I like this idea. The computer says I'm not better, but I felt like I was good, though. Didn't like me here either. I like the way my knights were to these bishops. That says the Moors here as well. So it says, it says that was a bad idea, so. Oh, discovering on the, uh, uh, okay. 
I think I should have just take, taken here. I mean, being that pawn up was good, but taking this pawn was just bad. I should have been content to before, probably. I said that move was bad as well. Uh, what's best? Well. And what was best? Queen trading everything off. You must centralize knight. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. This two connected pass pawns. Certain death. Yeah. Was... All right. Last round. Here we go. Hopefully, I score six. Give me six, baby. Come on, give me six. Uganda.
نام خوشم Oh, uh, early celebration. All right, that was cool. Game review. I think my end game sucks though. Yeah, this was a mistake. So the queen beat on e seven was a mistake. Best move was right there. Okay. Isa 160. Hey, what's up, Isa? I don't know if you're watching me live. Oh, you said hey back. Oh well. Asking for my number. Yeah, my number is on the WhatsApp. Yeah, I got a I got a cool tournament. I was thinking about Captain um yeah, I'll send it. Definitely. It's on WhatsApp. Uh, yeah. All right. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So I'll end the stream now. That's pretty decent. Uh, Captain is uh, Elfud, uh, who I was playing a lot, training me and uh, talking a lot of smack. You know, it was a lot of fun to play him. But there's a the combine. I'm definitely inviting him to come play in this combine that's coming up on January 15th. Maybe he'll come out. Maybe make it one of the, make on one of these New York teams. All right, guys. I'll holla at you later.